The following is a hoop ball presentation. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is round two. <laughs> the the windy weather uh, just so happened to take away my com- power and my computer and my recording. And this is restart season, complete restart. So if it sounds like I'm just pushing through because we have a big NBA game slate today, I'm not gonna lie to you. It probably will be because I'm pushing my hardest through this. With that said, let's go ahead and tip this thing off. 4 p.m., Detroit Pistons, Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavs are at home, three-point favorites. Over-unders 215. I hate this game. Blake Griffin's already been ruled out. We've already seen the, the Andre Drummond revenge game, I guess. All right? being that he came from the Pistons to the Cavs. They had a great game. But now it's a little different. Now they got Torian Prince. Now they got Jared Allen. Larry Nance Jr. still listed as questionable. I hate this game. <laughs> I do like the do like it in DFS purposes, but if I had to choose one, the thing I like the most is the money line at minus 140. It's a pick 'em game. Jeremy Grant's going to be huge today. I think Drummond still can get another big game in. But yeah, I'm uh I'm leaning Cavs. I still don't trust them Pistons. Cavs is probably gonna be where it's at. Let's go ahead and go on to the next game. Because after that game, the rest of this this slate is just fun, except for the last game of the night. Pacers, Hornets, Sabonis so after uh connecting knees, banging knees with Kyle Lowry, now listed as questionable. For this game. They still hold a two-point favorite. They're still listed, I should say, as a two-point favorite over the Charlotte Hornets in Charlotte. Another pick em. It's hard for me to choose one or the other. If, But, you know, I do like the over on 220. I will say that. I've, I've even already bet that one. So I like the over on 220. The Hornets, man, they are such an interesting team. And the, it, with the thing that sucks about the Pacers is now they have no Levert right now because, you know, the whole trade situation and what he's going through. It's good that they caught it. I mean, saved his life. But then to have Sabonis possibly be out. Brogdon's been good, but, I mean, it's it's going to be Brogdon, McDermott, Holiday, Bonga, Gong, not Bonga. Uh, I can't even, I don't remember that dude's name. <laughs> but that, that center guy that put up points. At least they got Jeremy Lamb back. I think Jeremy Lamb could be huge in this game. With that said, I still like the Hornets, man. I think just value-wise, best bang for your buck. You take the Hornets, plus two, plus 110. I like both of those. They're at home. I think they're going to really try and push the pace. And Brogdon has shown to to, to have fits with, with quick guards. So if you can get you know Devontae Graham a little loose, maybe LaMelo gets a little loose. I like the Hornets here. I like the Hornets just because just of the value. Unless Sabonis plays. If Sabonis plays, then I think, I, I think I'm going to go heavy on the Pacers. But in this exact moment where we don't know if he's playing, I'm going to go. I'm going to ride with them Hornets. So take that with a caveat. And I, I already took the over on 220. The Kangs on the road in Orlando facing off against the Magic. One and a half point underdogs. Literally another pick'em. Three pick'ems in a row. Over-under sits at 224. The Kings just don't know how to play defense. That's that's the biggest problem with this, this team. They can move as fast as they want. They can say they want to be this up-pace, fast team. All that stuff doesn't matter is if, if, if you're giving up double the points. They don't have enough scoring threats to be that up-and-down team in my opinion. And I cover that team, so... Yeah, <laughs> they, they just 
they they want to be like this running gun three point shooting team. They just don't have and, and get to the basket, but they don't have the greatest three point shooters. I mean, they have good ones. Halliburton's good. Heald Barnes obviously, but away from that, nothing really. And their most ball dominant player is Fox, just consistently driving to the basket. They get they get caught being one dimensional offensively. And defensively, they just give up too many points. I you can you can't go wrong choosing either of them because Orlando they struggle offensively because you never know what team is going to show up on any given night. But their defense is consistent, in my opinion. I mean, maybe it doesn't get the the same amount of stops, but you get those same reads. You get the basic same effort. Love Fournier as a DFS play, but gambling wise. I really couldn't tell you which one to go for. This one is one that I'd be avoiding. Nets Hawks. I'm taking the Hawks. I'm taking plus six and a half. It's my first dog of the day. It's the home team. The, to get six and a half points at home, I know the Brooklyn Nets just you know beat beat the Heat, who just went scoreless in the last five minutes of that fourth quarter and ruined my big parlay. They struggle against bigs. They have no no way of stopping any big man. And this team has two good ones, Clint Capella and John Collins. Those guys are going to play factors. Obviously, I don't know how they're going to be slowing this team down at all. So with that said, I'm taking the over on 238.5. really like the over there. Over 238.5, and, and I'm taking plus 6.5 with them Hawks. I think the Hawks have a, the ability to, to get points up in a hurry. Kyrie Irving's defense has been horrible. We already know what Harden's defense is like. Who's stopping Clint Capella when he flies through the air? Jordan? <laughs> Reggie? Perry? <laughs> no. That's not happening. Who's stopping John Collins? <laughs> I mean, me, 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 KD can probably stop John Collins. But who's stopping KD? That's what I'm saying. Who's stopping Harden? Nobody, nobody, on, nobody on the Hawks can slow down their big three. That's why I'm taking the over on 238 and a half. I uh, I just I just I just think this is actually going to be a, cl- a lot closer of a game than the Vegas does. Next game, 4:30 tip, same time as the Brooklyn Nets game, is the Denver Nuggets on the road against Miami. Miami's two plus 205. There's no spread. There's no over under. Surprisingly, man, I don't know what it is, but. I feel like if you're getting two to one odds and you're the Heat and they're home, Tyler Hero possibly can play. Draja can possibly play. Both listed as questionable. Chris Nunn's been playing well. I mean, yeah, I get it. The, their Nuggets should be the favorites here. I mean, all right, they got everybody. But the Heat are just play in just such a way where they're never truly out of it. And I don't know if they'll ever go scoreless for five minutes the way that they did before. So with no spread... Obviously, just the you get you just know that the Nuggets are minus two forty five and the Heat are plus two oh five. I kind of just avoid that game, kind of like I'm avoiding the stock market right now because gosh, save AMC, what the heck? A three dollar stock a week ago is now eighteen dollars. Don't get me started on GameStop. All right, I'm avoiding that as much as I'm avoiding those two plays in the stock market. Lakers Sixers, ooh we. Joel Embiid playing, Ben Simmons playing, Tobias Harris, Seth Curry playing, playing. The Sixers are at full health today, guys. The Lakers, they're good. Their defense, really good. I'm taking them Sixers, baby. Give me the Sixers. I'm sprinkling it all on the money line. I'm sprinkling it on that plus 305. Oh, or that 3.5 points. Oh, we love the Sixers at home with points. Healthy statement game. ESPN. Oh, we. That's all I want to say on that one. Really, really like the Sixers here. Plus 145. Taking that. Plus three and a half. Taking that. Bucks Raptors. Raptors are not going to be with Siakam today. I believe I saw that he is doubtful already. 
Lowry's questionable. He may play. He just played the other day. Although he did bang knees, but he still finished that game out on like Sabonis. Bucks only seven point favorites. I still really like the Bucks here at minus seven. There's something about them. However, with that said, I have to let everyone know that even though I like the Bucks, I've already made it my point that I have to avoid the Bucks until the end of January because they have just screwed me too many times. I mean, every time I see them in a close matchup, perfectly good spread against bad matchups, they've literally just not shown up for me. So with that said, I, I personally will be avoiding this game. Uh, I like the over. Oh, I'm sorry, the under on 228. And I like the Bucks minus 7. But just know you'll never see the Bucks in my wager pass until at least February. Really good game here. Another road road favorite. Celtics, four-point favorites over the Spurs. Interesting game. Because the Spurs have been playing really well. I love what DeRozan's been doing for this team in a contract year. LaMarcus Aldridge has been you know, doing LaMarcus Aldridge things, but he hasn't been as consistent. And they've been playing Jakob Pertl a lot. And he's really good in terms of just being the rebounder and being a big body out there. I actually like him a lot as a player. Murray's starting to turn it on. Patty Mills is becoming a, a, a six-man-of-the-year candidate. Possibly already in the top three in that, in that, in that conversation as a six-man-of-the-year candidate. I really don't know which way to go here. But with Tatum playing, Brown playing, I like minus four for the Celtics, even though they are on the road. The player who I think is going to have to be, play a big role in today, today's game is Robert Williams, who could also be your DFS play of the day. Over-under sits at 223. I'm leaning slightly to the over here. I mainly just do the fact that, again, the Spurs have been able to put up points. Both teams play really good defenses, but I I like I like this being one of those games. Man, the, me just saying that out loud makes me want to go under. I've just talked myself out of it. Two twenty three. I'm going under. I can see I can see this being one of those grinded out games. So I'm leaning on the over on that one, or the under. Sorry, the under on two twenty three. Mavs. Underdogs on the road against the Utah Jazz who have already ruled out Donovan Mitchell. I'm going to take the Mavs here just because the value of the money has been set. This The over-under currently sits at 220. You can't even bet on the over, so the under sits at 220. Again, I, I, I just see the value in the dollar in this one. I don't really like this game. The Jazz have been playing really well, and I think the biggest reason for that is because Donovan Mitchell has been lights out. You take him out of the lineup, how good are they actually going to be? That I'm not sure about. So I'm going to take the Mavs here. Again, sitting at plus 125 to get positive money with a te- against a team that is going to be without their best player, and you're still going to have Doncic, Chris Stapps, Hardaway, and potentially the rest of their guys in terms of Max Kleba, Dorian Finney-Smith, Josh uh Josh Richardson and I think Maxi Kleba, but I already said that. So Mavs could be getting their players back healthier and they still got Doncic and Chris Dapps. I just like that there's they're gonna be more they're gonna have bigger depth and, and, and a lot more of their players back to, to throw to throw at this jazz team. So on the road, plus one twenty five, the money is there. Thunder, Suns. Sun seven point favorite, seven and a half point favorites now. I like the over on two sixteen. I'm gonna sit at that. I think I think the Suns are gonna give up a ton of points to SGA. It's gonna come down to who else is gonna be scoring. I also really like Baisley in this game. This is a DFS game for me more than it is a here come over here and place these bets type of game. I don't like the spread. I like the over on two sixteen. I think that's just a slightly too low. I think it should be sitting at two twenty. DeAndre Ayton is one of my favorite plays of the day as well in in DFS. Wizards, Pelicans. I don't know, man. The Pelicans are good and everything. Eight points, favorites. Give me the Wizards, man. I think the Wizards 
with Beal and, and and Westbrook. Robin Lopez hasn't been horrible. They just signed Alex Len, who I think is going to serve as a nice player in this game. I obviously this is going to be a uh, 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 an, an ugly game because this is two teams that kind of don't play the best basketball in the world, right? But again, you, you give me eight points, and I get to have Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook. I think I'm going to take that. I'm taking those eight points. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm also going to take over 226 and a half. I think this game is going to be a, a fast up and down game. It's going to be entertaining to watch, but just get ready for a few possessions where it's just ugly basketball. Over 226 and a half. We're taking plus eight. We're taking the dogs here. And if you feel a little, you feel a little froggy and you want to leap on something, sprinkle a little half unit. Sprinkle, sprinkle a little change on that uh, plus 280 right there for the Wiz. And for the game that I, I absolutely hate, and I have no idea why they're making this the, the final game of the night, Timberwolves-Warriors. Ugly game. Horrible game. Really don't like it. I'm going to, I guess, I'm going to go over 229.5. There's nothing in this game. I mean, there's nothing in this game. I barely even like any of the DFS plays. I couldn't even give you any of that, guys. It's a quick rundown here. I apologize for being so fast with this pod. Uh, the biggest reason why is because me doing the show earlier, having it done, and then having to do it again, I also ha- I still have to get other things finished here so I can get my plays to dance. So I apologize for this show being slightly rushed, not going over many props. However, I will say that I appreciate you guys listening to the show. If you have any questions at all, I'm, I'm more than willing to answer them. You guys can follow me on all social media platforms of at VM Center. This show has been brought to you by hoop-ball.com. Be sure to go to hoop-ball.com for all of your fantasy basketball, NBA sports betting, and podcasting news. This show has been sponsored by MyBookie.ag. Everyone go to MyBookie.ag. Use promo code HOOPBALL. That's H-O-O-P-B-A-L-L. And they'll match up to $500 of your very first deposit. Bet sports, entertainment, politics, whatever you like. Go on MyBookie.ag and they'll take care of those gambling needs. Again, guys, quick show, fast rundown. I apologize for that, but don't worry. I will be back later this week with Devin. And uh, he and I will be back together tomorrow to go over that slate and these slated games. And until next time, NBA fans, rate, review, subscribe, and good luck. This has been a Hoop Bowl presentation.